All righty. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> All right, welcome to your Thursday morning mobility flow. My name is Debbie Gleason, Coach Debbie, and today's class, grab your sticks. If you are new to stick mobility and kind of wondering what this is, take a peek. Take a peek and see what I'm doing with these. You're going to love it. Um, today's class, we'll be working with the tall stick, one and two, and even the short stick. I want to showcase all of them. If you only have one stick, that is fine. You can do all of this with one stick. So today though, we are gonna focus, I'm gonna show you and highlight how we can do strength work with the stick mobility sticks. We're gonna work on glutes, hamstrings, a lot of lower body work. But of course, we'll have our signature moves like bow and arrow and a lot of deep stretching. So let's get warmed up. Here we go. <laughs> Take a nice wide horse stance just to support your body. I want you just to let everything go for a moment and take a big inhale. Inhale through the nose, and exhale through the mouth. Let's do two more. Inhale, and exhale. Last one, inhale. Big deep breath, and let it go. All right, let's hit those three planes of motion. Lightly grip, and just go ahead and extend your stick out and up over the head, open up, open up that interior chain and lower it down. Really feel that lengthening through your core, your abdominals, your chest, biceps, shoulders. Let's do one more. Inhale up and hold. Take a nice lateral tilt. So we're hitting that horizontal plane. Breathe. Feel that in your lateral chain there. You're feeling that stretch in those nice lateral lines, right and left. And bring it up high. Let's go ahead and just wall slide the stick behind the head, neck, right at the top of the shoulders. Keep softened knees and extend out. Now what I'm doing though is as I'm doing this wall slide, I'm just slightly pulling on the stick in both directions. Maybe just about 20% pull. Let's do it again. Wall slide. And raise it up. Bring it down right in front of the chest. Bring the legs together. We're gonna to work in the transverse plane. So I want you to lunge back with one leg. High lunge. Open the arms out wider. And the stick is resting in the palms of the hand. So palms facing up. You've got the stick right across the sternum. You're in a nice high lunge. Dorsi flex that foot. And let's go ahead and go into some kayaking. Breathe. Little rotation going there. Reverse. Let's go ahead and reverse it. Breathe. Nice. And right across the sternum again. Now this time, switching your grip. Switch your grip, palms facing down. Bring the hands in just a little bit closer. Let's go ahead and move into that transverse turn. Nice, slow turn. Now your leverage is with that top hand, that front hand. Gently push the stick back. You're gonna feel that open up the pectoral on that right side or whichever side you're on. Breathe, take a big inhale. Exhale. Now let's oops, slowly rotate to the other side. Let's do it again. One thing, if you're doing class with me, I want you to scope out an area that you're gonna be able to use an anchor point because when we go into our lower body, we'll be anchoring the sticks into a place on the floor, fireplace, 
um, you know, if it works on a couch, I'll be using my couch, or I might show it against the baseboards too. Bring it center and go ahead and stand up. Shake it up, nice. Switching legs, high, high lunge. So I'm just gonna show it to you this way. That back foot is dorsiflexed. Changing my grip, wide, wide. We're gonna go ahead and kayak. Get a little rotation going in that upper body, that thoracic spine, waking it up. And reverse, reverse. Breathe. Continue focusing on your breath. So this is just a nice mobility warm up. Feeling that hip open and come back center. Switching your grip, palms facing down. Bring the hands in just a little bit closer. Reach out, slow transverse turn to that open back leg, hold. Now again, the leverage, slightly press. If you wanna get deeper into that tissue and the pectoral, shoulder. But again, never overdo the stretch. Just go to your range of motion. If it feels like it's too much, you back off. And let's go to the other side. So being in that split stance, it's challenging our proprioception a little bit. We're starting to challenge our bodies right off the bat here. You can do this just in a nice horse stance too. And let's do one more. Final one. Bring it back center. And step up, shake it out, nice. Okay, since we are gonna be working the hamstrings quite a bit today in glutes, take a wide stance. We're gonna press that stick into the hip bone here and just slowly hinge the body forward. As you do so, open those arms. Go slow, feel that hammies, feel those hammies stretch here. Just let the head and neck relax. Feet are parallel. So look at your stance. Slowly, slowly come out of it. All right, let's go ahead and do one more. Hinge forward. Feeling that stretch. Open up those arms. Relax the head, neck, and shoulders and slowly, slowly rise up and release, nice. Okay, grabbing your second stick. So let's go, we're gonna do, um, we're gonna warm up the hips and I'm gonna start with something called the Captain Morgan. We'll be doing the human sail and a little bit of an ankle foot warm up before we move to our lower body. So taking one stick at 12, the opposite stick at three, now, if you only have one stick, take the stick at three, okay? So if you're working with just one, you're working just on the lateral side here. So go ahead and drive those sticks. You're gonna radiate the sticks into the floor. This is gonna be how it's gonna stabilize you here. So I want you to lift that leg 90 degrees, drive. Now I want you to just open up that hip with the outside of the foot. Try to stand nice and tall. Press in. Press into that outside stick. You're gonna shake a little bit here. You're gonna wake up that glute. You're abducting. Now go ahead and abduct. Take it to the center and push with the inside of that push. In that, with that foot. So it's me, it's about like 20 to 30 percent. Nothing crazy here. Drive those sticks in. Let's go ahead and open up again. Keep that 90 degree as much as you can. So don't let the leg drop if you don't, but if you need to, go ahead. But try to keep that 90 degree. Bring it back. 
push. 20 to 30 percent, push into that front stick, and go ahead and lower. Nice, shake it out. Let's go ahead, switch sides, 12, nine o'clock. I'll show it to you at a nice little angle here, just so you could see the movement here. So that's front stick at 12 o'clock. Drive, lift that leg 90 degree, and let's go ahead and abduct. Open up, press into that stick with the outside of that foot, try to keep that 90 degree. Focus, just stabilize for a moment. And now go ahead, bring it back center, push with the instep of that foot, push. 20 to 30%. Breathe, keep the breath flowing through that body. That oxygen is going to help you keep working hard here and be efficient. One more time. Bring it back center, press, and lower. Nice. All right, open those sticks out nice and wide. So they're probably at least, I would say, a foot or more outside of your body here, each side. Now again, if you have one stick, you can do it just with one and just rotate to the other when we hit that other side. You could always use a chair for stability too to mimic that second stick. All right, here we go. Drive. Drive those sticks in. Make sure they're nice and stable into the floor. So you're working your grip. You're gonna laterally raise that right leg. Try to keep nice centered between the sticks and press into that out, into that stick, the outside of the foot, press. Breathe. Keep pressing, big inhale, exhale. Bring it back. Let's do it again, same side. This time with the breath. Inhale, abduct. Exhale, press. Inhale. And come back to stand. Shake it out, nice. All right, let's get that opposite side. Drive. Again, with the breath. Inhale, abduct. Exhale, push into the stick with that foot. Big inhale. And exhale. Let's do it again. This time we're gonna hold it there for a few moments and keep that activation going. Drive the sticks in. Big inhale, abduct. Exhale, press. Keep the breath going. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now bring adduct. Exhale. Shake it out. Nice job, you guys. All right, just shake everything out here. We're gonna go ahead and warm up the ankles and feet before we move into strength. So you can do this with two sticks. The sticks are parallel. Your feet are parallel, just a little wider than hip width apart. If you're working with one stick, take the stick to 12 o'clock and grip, okay? So one stick here, two sticks here. All right, so the sticks are slightly at an angle. You can see I'm not, they're not straight up and down. They're slightly at an angle here, tilted. We're gonna drive, irradiate the sticks into the floor, radiate them in. Now, as you do this, you're gonna feel your abdominal muscles just naturally activate. Go with it, go with it. Focus on your core too. All right, so let's go ahead and raise the right heel. Lift up and lower. We're gonna just pedal here and alternate. We're pedaling, pedal, pedal. So we have a nice little rhythm going here. So just lift, lift, four more, three, two, 
One, now let's lift both heels. Drive, one, two, three, lift. And lower. Now this time hover, hover the heels. Don't let them, don't let them touch the ground. And let's go ahead and lift. Breathe and lower. Don't let them touch. Let's do two more. Raise up. Keep driving those sticks. And lower. Last one. Now hold. Hold it here. I want you just a nice little lateral movement. Shift your weight of the feet to three o'clock. So you're feeling it in that right pinky toe, left big toe. Shift. Small movement. Nice and small. I'm shaking. <laughs> side to side. You can do one foot at a time too. If it's too much on both, you could do one at a time. We're just waking up those ankles. Bring it center. Slowly lower the heels. Shake it out. Now, just the final warm up for the feet. I want you to just go ahead and tap. We're dorsiflexing the feet. Just tap those feet out, tap it. So we're, instead of lifting the heels, we're lifting the front of our foot, okay? Tap, 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 a few more. Waking them up. And release, shake it out, nice job. Okay, strength. We are going to work with the short stick on this, or I am, and if you have the short stick, grab it. Long stick is fine, but I like the short stick because I have more access to the grips here. We've got these nice grippy things. It really helps you have more control with grip activation. All right, so we're going into the lower body. So just, just to get going here, just to show you what we're gonna be doing with our upper body, palms are facing down, and about 30, 40%, I want you to push the stick together, so push. You're feeling those pectorals activate. You're activating that interior chain here. Draw navel to spine. 30 to 40%, I want you to pull the stick apart. One, two, three, pull. So you're feeling it in those lats, those upper traps, triceps. Let's do it again. One, two, three, push. One more pull. One, two, three, and pull. And release. So this is gonna be our upper body activation as we work into our lower body. We're gonna go into a single leg deadlift. So we're working balance, and then we're gonna move into a back lunge. So just showing it to you from the front, and if you feel you're not ready to lift that leg, you can keep that back toe on the ground, okay? So here we go, here we go. So we're in that nice high lunge, and I want you to go ahead and push the stick together. Keep that activation. As you're pushing, I want you to drive the stick down and move into a single leg deadlift. Extend that stick down. I'm still pushing the stick. I'm keeping that activation going. And we're gonna pull now. One, two, three, pull. And lift. Keep pulling on that stick. As you pull and lift that stick to chest height, step back into a high back lunge. You're in a back lunge now. Keeping the activation, ready to push. One, two, three, push, push. Here we go. Keep that push activation going. Lift up, and let's go into single leg deadlift. Breathe. You're challenging your balance here. The load is on that left leg. Get ready to pull. One, two, three, pull. Raise that stick up. Move into that back lunge, that deep back lunge. Keep that pull activation. One, two, three, push. We're gonna do one more. Three on each side. Go ahead and lift. Now that back toe can be down. I'm gonna show it to you with the back toe down. You can do a little uh, demi single leg deadlift where that back toe is still down. Get ready to pull. One, two, three, pull. Lift up, keep that activation. Come back. 
Let's push one more time and come back to stand. One, two, three, push and come back. Keep pushing, lower, relax. Good job, you guys. That's work because there's a lot of control. The stick is stabilizing you. Actually, with the push and pull, it actually helps stabilize that movement a little bit better. All right, I'm gonna show it to you sideways, okay? So you can see this a little bit better. All right, so the load is on my right foot now, okay? So, leg back, opposite leg, opposite leg. All right, and this high lunge, getting ready to push. One, two, three, push. Now, as I push, I'm gonna come into, now this is my weaker side. So, I have to focus to really keep that balance. One, two, three, pull. Lift up, step back into that high lunge. High lunge, you'll be in the center here. I'm still pulling, still pulling that stick apart. Get ready to push. One, two, three, push. It's like if you're trying to shorten the stick, keep that strong activation. I'm gonna say 50 to 60% pressure here now. Let's go ahead, lift that back leg. Ooh, if I can, <laughs> like I said, my right leg is a little weaker to support me, so I'm being careful. Push, but I gotta keep training it. One, two, three, pull, lift, come into that back high lunge. There you go, here we go, one more time. This time I'm gonna show you with the toe down. One, two, three, push, and I'm gonna go ahead and lower, lower. Single leg. Back leg can be lifted, but I'm showing you a little more modified version. One, two, three, pull. Lift up and step back into that high lunge. So that you're really feeling that load in that front leg. One, two, three, push. Come back, stand. Lower down, relax. Good job, you guys. Okay. Grab, we're gonna work with two sticks. You, again, you can with one, but we're gonna find an anchor point. Scope out a good anchor point for yourself, okay, where you can bring those sticks into the floor and a baseboard. So we are gonna work, I'm gonna take you to the floor. So find your anchor point. So you're gonna drive both sticks in. I'm just gonna show you, they're driving in like that. I'm taking it sideways so you can see what I'm doing. So drive them in, they're parallel, okay? So go ahead and lower them, get them into place, coming down onto the floor. Coming down onto the floor. We're gonna work the glutes and also the anterior chain a little bit, a little bit of chest pressing with the sticks while we're irradiating the sticks. So you can do strength training with these guys, okay? So let's go ahead. You're in a nice seated position. I wanna make sure you can see me. And I want you to just slowly drive those sticks in. One vertebrae at a time. Try, use, make this work. Lower down, lower down. All the way to the floor, nice. This will not work with a comb in my head. <laughs> okay. Drive those sticks in. Now I want you to bring those feet as close to your glutes as possible. Feet are parallel, about hip width apart. The sticks, nice and parallel. You've got a nice, strong grip. Pull, as you drive the sticks into your anchor point, pull the sticks into the body, then those arms. Now we are going to bridge at the shoulder bridge, all right? So peel that tailbone, lower back, mid back, peel it off the floor, hold. Just hold for a moment, you're driving those sticks. Now let's go ahead and lower. Keep driving, pull the arms in, and let's do a few more. Ready, and push up, drive. I should be on a mat because I'm sliding back, and lower. Lower, shake it out. All right, let's do it again. Drive and lift. 
squeeze those glutes. You're focusing on that posterior chain, glutes, hamstrings, and lower. Now this time we're gonna try single leg. So raising, raising one leg. Let's go ahead, drive the sticks in, raise up. And now holding it here, I want you to extend that top leg. This is actually, <laughs> We're gonna, a little Pilates move, okay? For my Pilates people out there. Driving that stick, flex that foot. Keep that bridge. Lower down to that opposite leg. Power up, let's do four more. Lower down, flex the foot and up. Breathe. Breathe, two more. Lower and up. Lower and up, bend that knee. Place that foot back down, keep it there. Now I want you to open the arms, open them laterally and come up. Let's do two more. Open, this is gonna be a transition to the other side. And up, two more. Open, keep lifting those glutes. One more. Hold, now if you need a rest, go ahead and lower the body and come back in and join me. You're gonna, when you do, I want you to bring that opposite leg in. Knee comes in, extend that leg up, flex the foot, lower to that opposite leg, power up. One, two, three, and up, three more. One, two, three, and up. Keep those hip bones lifted, up. One more, one, two, three, power up. Bend that leg, lower. Let's do four lateral chest flies. Keep pressing. Lift the glutes. Keep pressing. What I mean by pressing is you're radiating the sticks into your anchor point, okay? So you're working that upper body. Breathe. Let's do one more. And slowly lower bone by bone. Bring that spine back down, that lower back, tailbone, Nice. Tuck those knees in. And let's go ahead and just rock up to sit. Good job, you guys. Lower those sticks. Whew. That's work. <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep the sticks where they're at. Here we go. Keep the sticks where they're at, and we're gonna face outside. And actually, I'm gonna show it to you this way now. I can show it to you this way. So drive the sticks into your anchor point. Nice and parallel, nice and parallel. Drive, drive. Come towards the end of the stick so your hands are on the grippies here. And we're gonna to continue to work the lower body. So I want you to go into a nice squat. Drive those sticks behind you. Come into a sit position. Keep your clavicle open and raise up. Let's do it again. As I'm squatting, I'm driving those sticks behind me. Let's lower. All right, we're gonna add on to this. Feet are parallel, so check your stance. Let's drive into that sit position right here. As you're driving, raise up to the toes, working the calves, raise up, lower the heels, let's do four more. Squat, lift, raise up, and lower. Now, the sticks are radiating into the floor, or, and so I'm working my upper body, I'm feeling this also in my triceps, and my lower body, let's do two more. Squat, Lift, raise up, lower. One more. Squat, lift, hold, hold here. Hold, hold. Just feel that those quads should be burning here. Breathe, 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 breathe. Raise up and lower. Nice job, you guys. Whew. All right. 
One more for the lower body. Like I said, today's focus was a lot of lower body. We're going to have the sticks assist us with a deep squat. Now, I'm gonna, usually we, we do a dumpy squat where we drive it up into the um, ceiling. If you have one stick, go ahead and do that. I'll show it to you real quick. And then I'm going to show you one with the double six. So you drive the dumpy squat, and this is best if you have one stick. Is you're pushing that stick into the ceiling, door jam, wherever you feel that you can. It's not if you have vaulted ceilings, you're not gonna be able to do it, of course. <laughs> but the dumpy squat basically is changing your hand grip and coming into a deep squat. Go as low as you can and then come back out. So that is if you just are working with one stick, I just work with that. Now with the double stick, I'm going to just show you a progression of the squat. So what's going to be different about this one is as we squat, our hand grip, our grip position changes, okay? So feet parallel, sticks parallel, and we're starting just about chin height. So like chin height, that boxing thing, chin chin. <laughs> okay. So right here, so you, of course you're not going to go into as a deep squat. So, so drive the sticks into the body. Take a big inhale. Exhale and sit. Now you see I'm not going too deep. If you're doing the dumpy, you can progress too. You could go low, lower, lowest. <laughs> So drive, just hold, nice little sit here. The key is to keep those feet planted into the floor, open up the toes a little bit, and slowly come up. Shake it out. All right, let's lower our grip to about rib cage height. Rib cage height, okay? Take a big inhale, drive the sticks into the floor, pull the sticks in, inhale, Exhale, squat. Now you're going a little lower. A little lower, just hold. Hold, hold, hold. The key, drive the sticks into the floor. Irradiate them, so always keep that activation. That activation is, is working that upper body and also our core. Hold, 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 and slowly, slowly come out of it. Shake it out. All right. Lower your grip. So this time I would say it's about navel, about navel height, where your grip is. Right in the center of the sticks, actually, for me. So, where the sticker is. Draw navel into spine, take a big inhale, pull the sticks in. Exhale, and squat. So you see I'm going a little bit lower here. This is a deeper squat. Keep your chest open, try to keep that clavicle open here. Breathe. Remember, you're not hinging. You're just trying, you're really trying to like if you're sitting in a chair. Hold, 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 drive those sticks in at least, it's at least 30 to 40% or more. Slowly, slowly lift out of it. Shake it out. Take a breather. So you know what's coming. <laughs> It's the deep squat. So we're gonna to try to do this. So lower your grip. It's right about hips. So it's hip height here. So my arms are extended here. And if you need to, you know, move the sticks away from you or closer to you, do so. All right? Whatever allows you to get into that nice squat. Here we go. Drive. Drive the sticks in. Take a big inhale, pull the sticks into the body. And let's do it. Exhale. Keep irradiating the sticks into that floor. Go deep, deep. Try not to lose that connection. Hold. Breathe. Keep the chest open as much as you can. Can you go 10% deeper? Those legs should be talking to you. Hold. Four, three, 
two, one. Now slowly, how do we get out of this? Ah, <laughs> we can. Drive. Drive the sticks in. They will assist you coming out of this squat. Woo, nice job, you guys. Shake it out. I know that's work. And the dumpy squat with single stick is a lot of work too. All right. We're done with two sticks. So we're going into a few deep stretches before we finish this workout. Um, I would like to just take you into a nice um, a move we call slap shot and then finish with our bow and arrow. So let's take this stick right behind the body here. So it is right into the lower back, all right? Right above the sacrum, push that stick in. Let's just go ahead and since we were stable for a moment, just loosen it up a bit and do a little behind the back kayaking. Reverse. Roll those shoulders back. Breathe. All right. We're going into slap shot. <laughs> I love the slap shot. It just feels so good. And if you're new to slap shot, don't overdo the movement. It's something that you definitely have to, over time, work into that deep stretch. Some people are Gumby. I'm not. <laughs> okay, here we go. So let's go ahead and take a big inhale. Exhale, hinge forward. You're feeling that in the hamstrings again. So we're, we're giving our hamstrings a nice little stretch here too after all that posterior work there. Now leverage with one hand. I'm gonna go to my right. When this is on YouTube, it'll be your left. <laughs> I noticed the difference in right and left on both platforms. So let's go ahead and press. Bring that stick slightly, try to bring it at least slightly in front of that right leg, right past that right knee. If you can go deeper, if this is as far as you can go, place that stick into the floor, drive it in. If you can hit 12 o'clock, go for it. Get yourself nice and stable before we move into that deeper stretch. Already you're opening up that left shoulder. Nice grip. We're gonna take a nice lateral move to our right. Take a big inhale, exhale, and just hold. Breathe. And slowly come out of it. Unwind. Let's take it to the other side. We're right here. So go ahead, slightly, slightly in front of that left knee to start. So if you're here, that's fine. If you could go a little deeper, go to 12. So really line it up. Take a big inhale, we're gonna lateral lunge. One, two, three, inhale, exhale. It's really opening up that upper body. Feeling it a bit in that right adductor. Slowly come up. Unwind, and come out of it. Nice, nice. Okay, we're gonna do one more each side. Try to get a little bit deeper. So you might, if you can go beyond 12, try it, If but go to only your range, whatever feels comfortable. Take a big inhale, hinge, exhale, rotate. Drive, big inhale, exhale, lateral. Big inhale, come out. Exhale, unwind. Let's go to the other side. Inhale. Exhale. Right here. <laughs> Drive. Big inhale. Exhale. Yes. Big inhale, come out. Exhale, unwind. Inhale, lift. Exhale, shake it out. Good job, you guys. All right, we are ready for our bow and arrow. Let's do it, we have a few more minutes. So let's take that stick to three o'clock, right here. I want you to drive, you're gonna drive the stick. If you're new to bow and arrow, 
There is a segmented piece to this. You just don't go into it. You need to take each step, okay? So take your inside hand, the nice 90 degree here. Outside hand, reach up, big inhale, reach over, grip at the top, grip. The stick is probably about 10 inches from the foot. It could be a little further. The closer it is to the foot, the more progressed that bow and arrow is, okay? And vice versa, further away, it's a little more modified. So I'm taking it right in the middle. So I want you to drive that stick into the floor, radiate it in, keep a nice grip. Now shift your hips to the left. Take a big inhale, exhale, we're gonna activate and press into that bow and arrow. Just a nice solid move here, hold. Use the breath. And slowly come out of it, nice and slow. Shake it out. Let's do one more. We'll go maybe about, if we can, 10 or 20% deeper into that activation. So drive the stick in, shift hips, big inhale. Exhale, activate. I'm going maybe about 20% deeper than I did, hold. Keep those hips squared off if you can. Breathe, feet are parallel. And nice and easy, come on out. Let's take that stick, transition to the other side. There we go. 90 degree in that inside arm. Drive that stick in, reach up and over, grip high, high grip, keep a strong grip. Shift your hips out laterally. Take a big inhale. Exhale, activate. And just hold. Hold it for four, three, two, one. Slowly come out of it, shake it out, pull it out a bit. Our final one, final move today, you guys. So, dry that stick in, high grip. Shift the hips out. Let's go 10, maybe 20% deeper. Big inhale, exhale, activate. Check your stance, feet parallel. Try to keep the hips parallel, squared off, facing me. We're not doing any rotation on this one. Just a strong, solid bow and arrow. And hold for four, three, two, deep breath. <laughs> And one slowly come out of it. Ah, nice job, you guys. All right, shake it out, shake it out. Go ahead and grab your stick. Just go ahead and just do a little mobility. Flow any way you want. Just move it around. So again, my name is Debbie Gleason, Coach Debbie. And this class will be on IGTV, of course, on the stick mobility page. And all of our, um, let me make sure, I'm looking at the YouTube one too, so I gotta stay in both videos. Um, we do post these on our YouTube page, so please follow the YouTube page um, because we do have a lot of other content on there besides our classes. There's a lot of things the coaches post and also cool podcasts talking to different fitness professionals and and how stick, working with the sticks has really enhanced their performance and their recovery. Um, so this is a great tool. I hope you guys get one of these if you don't. <laughs> All right, you guys have a great Thursday and I'll see you next time.